Danny, uh, Henry Okiharu had a career high ice time last game and was out against Matthews quite a bit. What did you like about the way he handled that game? Compete. He competed very hard. Uh, obviously, I mentioned after the game how, how well I thought he played. Um, but he, he just elevated. He raised the bar at a time we needed him to, and that's a, that was probably what excited me most. He knew uh, that the urgency of the situation, and he elevated. Doug, when he competes like that, what aspect of the game does rise? His ability, his confidence with the puck, and his, uh, his quickness on engaging physically. Uh, there's, there's less hesitation, uh, and there's less hesitation on the defensive side and, and more calm on the offensive side or possession side. What have you seen in uh, Paterka's game that's allowed him to be more involved offensively in creating the way that he has these last handful of games or so? Uh, similar, a sharpened sense, uh, sense of um, urgency, um, details, you know, stronger on sticks, stronger on pucks, uh, quicker to transition from, from offense to defense to take time and space away, track a puck, get a puck back faster. So more urgency overall for him. Did you like the way that he handled just the ups and downs of, you know, he was f trying to find his way there? Yeah, he, he did. He, he was, I think, out of the lineup uh, a few games back and came back uh, with, again, more urgency. So the way he handled it was, was the right way. Jordan, Jordan Greenway's been on the penalty kill quite a bit. I don't think he was doing that um, much the season before. Is that important for a step into, like you said, realizing your potential, getting them in more situations, I, I guess? Yeah, I think it's important any guy that comes in the lineup, especially the new team, uh, to for, for his teammates and, and team to see him in, in roles and doing jobs. And, you know, he's filled in on uh, Thompson and Skinner's line, the absence of Tuck, and those guys are happy to have him as a line mate. Uh, and, and obviously penalty kill is, is a role that uh, we need, we've we needed to elevate in that area all season long. So he's come in there and done a nice job, and, and that's, you know, again, it gives him – something to feel uh, that, that he's a part of our group right away, something that he can impact success within our group right away. And obviously that helps in his integration uh, in our team. Well, what did it mean for you guys to have Tuck back last game, maybe not just on the ice, but also have him back in your room? I mean, you lose a player that big. Uh, so, you know, for us, if we lost Thompson, Tuck, Darlene, you know, the guys that are big players, uh, and you know, high-producing players, players that the other team is, is well aware of. You lose any one of those guys in this league. And last night with Washington, Ovechkin, it it's, it's matters. It matters a lot. And you know, Alex fits in that category. Um, you know, Samuelson's another guy that's a that's a big, big player to lose. So, you know, you, you can't lose too many of those guys. And when you do, you miss. He's had some experiences. His experience helping having played in games like this during, at this time of year. I think Alex has, has evolved his game more than where the experience would impact the situation. I think experience is big. Right. And experience he's gone through, and you guys know, in Stanley Cup Finals, that's big. But he, he has elevated his game personally. He, he is a completely different player than he was a year ago, uh, even four or five months ago, obviously having career highs and points and goals. And so he's reached an entire level that is new to him in his career. And I think he's empowered because of that. He feels that he's more impactful uh, now than he's ever been in his career. And, and, and that's the difference for me. It's, it's, so it's a combination of, yes, some of the experience, but but the, not experience alone. It, it's, it's, he's known and felt his own improvement over the last uh, months to the, to the point where he, he takes charge more often than not. The last two games you maybe didn't get the start that you wanted. What's the key to maybe flipping that tonight here? Um, I, don't, I don't think you have to worry about the flipping anything. The start we had the other night I thought was great uh, from the standpoint you know, we were very confident in a strategy and a game plan and very focused. Now, the puck ended up in our net, but there was unwavering confidence when it did. It was, it, the guys would stay on the process was the feeling. It'll, it'll work through. So, you know, I, I think uh, that has to continue, that unwavering, no doubt, 
that this is a 60 minute game and yeah pucks go off skates another way a calls goes against you here or there um, you might fall down in a game but you can't waver one bit and in the fear that it might cost you a game some little accident that happened or a breakdown and and that starts before the game starts you know having having a focus on what needs to be done for 60 minutes uh, it's something that uh, the urgency of the situation has helped our guys uh, realize the importance of that focus and being dialed in and um, you know we move in tonight with with that as an objective to have have that type of uh, intense intense focus and uh, a strategy that needs to be executed for 60 minutes how are the group of both these teams are basically in the same spot you need to win the game of it you know you're trying to climb up behind the importance of the game and every game is important but is there is there an awareness of the importance of this particular game because of I think there's just a feel that the, the feel is there's fewer games left uh, and the, the, the urgency, you know, you 20 games in, you're, uh, it's human nature, any, anybody, when you, you, you know you have to endure a marathon, you're not, you know, subconscious level, you're not sprinting in the third mile. And, but in, in the last mile or two, you know you can push it and you know you have to push it to better your time in, in that essence. And, and I think that's where the NHL is in a season, that the pro sports are in seasons. You, you, you can't absolutely go through the wall uh, in early seasons and then repeat 24 hours later and not risk injuries. So, you, you know, 10 games in, 12 games in, you're still looking at ways maybe to be conservative, still win a game. Now you just have to win a game. There's no, there's no waiting for tomorrow. Uh, and you don't feel like you have to play 60 more left. So it's some, some balance of pace here uh, because you're in that marathon. Now you're in a sprint, and you go all out uh, as, as you would see, and, and that's why playoffs are so good. Everything is do or die. So these players know there is no tomorrow if you don't go through the wall today, and, and they don't save themselves for anything because uh, there's no need. So I think the league is in that mode right now, and uh, these two teams are. This is a situation that Olsen's never been in. What, how do you want him to use this time out of the lineup to improve his game or early work on the areas that are going to help him get back to where he was earlier in the season? Well, you know, in its simplest form, when these guys, the season ends, they, they dedicate complete and full attention to how do I get better. They look, for, they look for ways to improve their game, and it's no different. It should be no different in season when you, when you don't go in the lineup. You take a step back. You can breathe a little bit. You can you can do some self analysis, and you can uh, you, you know watch the uh, watch from afar to learn and pick up any details you may. Uh, so you have to make certain you and, and Quinn has done this, and any guy that's been out really for our group has done that. Tuck out of out of injury finds a way to come back in the lineup when he's healthy and be ready uh, and be better. And we saw that out of Tuck the other night. He, he took him a little bit to get in the game, but he scores two goals in the third period. He was at, he was focused on coming back better than when he left, and so that has to be the drive. And you have to believe that uh, there, there is a silver lining to not playing, and that would be it. You've got time to self-reflect and time to gear up for your next opportunity. And uh, you know the, this business is tough. You you can you can get swayed and think in another direction, but the essence of it is you've better be preparing for your next opportunity because it's going to happen. So you know I think. It's a very general statement, but Victor fits fits that category well. What did you like about Owen, especially last game? Mount Ice job they did. Him and uh, Henry did well. Yeah, Owen was uh, his his grace under pressure. If you if you want to look at it that way, poise, confidence. Um, you know, he he knows the game. He reads situations very well because he studied it, and then he op, you know he operated well in that. Uh, he also I thought elevated his compete. He was very determined, and um, he played a big, big role for us. You know, um, Darlene was <clears throat> was nursing some nagging things that have resolved, fortunately. Um, but he he played in that game, and he, he was he didn't skate the day before. We talked about it, so we limited his minutes just uh, just to make sure we didn't uh, overextend him and complicate his recovery, um, which. He, went, he came through that game with flying colors. He was upset we didn't play him more, which was perfect. It's perfect what we wanted to see. But in, the, in that process, uh, Owen, had, you know, Owen and, and uh, Yokoharu had to play a bigger role 
we gave them that opportunity. Uh, Labushkin and Stillman, we gave them a little bit more ice time, and all those guys stepped up uh, to buy Dahl some time that, uh, you know, as we finish the game and, and, you, and you got Dahl's upset that he didn't play more, that's a good thing for us as coaches. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Now we know he's back, and uh, those guys filled a very big uh, void uh, to help us get through that.